Hey guys, welcome to All Things You, and today, as you can tell from the title of the video, is going to be a sunset inspired look. This one is going to be a little bit different than all the other um, tutorials that I have done. All the other tutorials, like five tutorials. Um, basically, in this video, as you will see, my face has already been done. Everything except, I think, lipstick and highlighter and one eye. And so that's what's gonna, what's the video gonna be, what the video is gonna be about. Um, I'm just showing you how to do this specific eye. If you guys would like me to do a video of this look with everything involved, then, you know, let me know at the comments bar down below. And yeah, please um, watch the end of the video where I refer to a giveaway that I am doing as soon as I reach my 50 subscribers and so that you guys can give me input of how would you like to see the giveaway turn out. And without any further ado guys, um, let's get into this look. Please like and subscribe if you like this look and let's get going. So as you can see, my face is already 95% done. The only thing I need on my face is the highlight. But I want to do that after I'm done with the eyes for the reason that um, I might have a little fallout. And I just could like, you know, disguise it and brush it off with a little bit of highlight. So, for this look today, you're going to need the Morphe 35C palette. Or better said, the colors that are similar on this palette. You don't need this exact same one. This is the one I'm using today, obviously. But if you could find colors similar to this orange, this muted burnt orange, these three blues right here, this red or pink color right here, and these two purples, then you're good to go. So I'm going to be starting off by everything on and above the crease. I'm going to apply this burnt orange color right here. They don't have names, so you're going to hear me referring to this color right here a lot. These colors right here. But yeah, so taking that burnt orange, which is in the second row, second to last. Tap off the excess. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to everywhere from the crease up. I'm just going to fill it in. What I'm doing here is I'm creating like a base, like a transition color. Because I am not feeling just smacking all these bright colors directly on to my eye. For the record, my eyes have been primed. I use the Urban Decay Naked, not NYX, the Naked Concealer in shade, I have no idea. I will put the shade down below. I will put on the details to everything that I use down below. This tutorial is only going to be making this eye look like this eye. So it's just an eye tutorial, it's not a full face tutorial. I know those can be kind of long in my channel, mostly because I'm new at this. Which guys, I appreciate so much for those of you who are watching and sticking around to watch the videos. Thank you so much, you have no idea how much this means to me. But yeah, I'm going to try to make this short, easy on you to watch, easy on me to edit. So that's the reasoning behind that. Back to the eye. So now we have that down. As you can tell, I have left the lid with absolutely no color. I want nothing down there because I want the colors to stick to the um, concealer. That way they don't move anywhere. So you And guys, remember, don't get frustrated. If, some, if you want to recreate this look and it's not coming out just the way you wanted it to, remember, it's just makeup. You could take it off, put it back on, guys. Remember, do not get frustrated. Because if you get frustrated, the only thing that's going to happen is the makeup is going to come out looking worse. And that is not what we want. So to apply that color that I just applied, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the brush. I was using my GLC Precision Crease brush. And I just noticed I'm still in pajamas filming this video. 
Oh my god. Oh lord. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. I don't know if you want to see me in my pajamas or not. I'm not going to stand up and show you my pajamas, but I was not supposed to do that and I forgot. Anyway, continuing on. Now for the second color, I will be going in with my GOC Makeup SX Precision Brush in G842. And I will be going in with this color right here. This bright, the brightest orange in this palette. And what you want to do is, you want to put it high up by where the brow starts. But you don't want to put it all the way through the brow. So you don't want to do this. You just want to go from here in a straight line. And you want to leave a little bit of your skin color up there. And then you just bring it down. What I like to do is I like to flick it out. That way I have a direction as to where I'm going to put the color up. So that way I have that mm, not exactly 100% clean line. Because it's not. I don't want that. But you can see some direction as to where all the shadows are heading. And that's exactly what I'm looking for here. Okay. So that's what you should have by now. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M169 brush. And then we're going to be going in with this color right here, this pink. I hope you guys can see that. And then right where that color finishes, right where that orange finishes, that's where you want to start your pink. That looks like just the right amount of pink right here and then I'm gonna drag it a little bit downward I already have all the pink I want up as a matter of fact I might have to go back in with that orange and then you want to blend down so that way when you go in with that purple it doesn't look like a straight line now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M506 brush, which looks like that. And I'm going to start going in with this purple right here. So again, tap off the excess ones, and I'm just going to start right here, just in circular motion, just right there. I'm not going circular out, circular in, up, nowhere, just staying right there. Kind of like marching in place. You march but you stay. And then you just want to go drag it up slowly. Okay, once I have that there, which is like a little outline. I'm going to start taking this color and drag it out. And you want to continue that motion until you get that kind of sort of straight line. And then once you do have it, you want to repeat the motion with the same color just to intensify. See how that's coming together? So with the same color still, I'm just going to go in and intensify now the line on the crease. So the color that's on the crease, I'm going to go in and intensify that. So. And now with whatever's left on the brush and on your eye, you want to blend upward a little bit so that the pink blends with the purple, but you can still see the distinct line between the pink and the orange. So you don't want to take it all the way up to where the pink is at, just slightly like halfway up maybe. Now with the same brush, we're going to keep on working with this brush. I want to go in with this purple right here and you're just going to go over mostly on the crease that purple as you saw has more pink pigment than the first purple we used so for that reason i'm going to apply it right here just so that i could give it that more like transitioning color 
so it looks more pink in nature. Then now with the same brush, you want to dip it again in that same color. Just dip it in twice. Just press it twice and just put it on the outer wing thing you have going on. And that's it, no more. Now, the reason why my hands are like this, you wanna brush off any excess color. It doesn't matter if all of it comes off, don't try to, you know, get it all in there. Now, you're going to want to put a little bit of this purpley blue right here. Guys, so I just realized I filmed a lot, well not a lot, a little bit a lot of things off of camera. I did not realize my camera had stopped um, recording. So I'm just going to give you a basic run through of what I did. I'm just going to put the colors on top of my eye again. Where I left off was when I was putting this blue color on the wing. So with my Morphe M506 brush, I just dabbed it in and I just concentrated on the end of the wing like this. So I just didn't get out of there. I just went intensified it and when I seen that the purpley color was starting to get that hint of blue that I wanted, I took the excess and I just rubbed it on all over the crease. After that, I went in playing between these two purples right here I basically what you do is you swirl in one swirl in the other at the same time tap off the excess and bring that color in one third of the way so what I like to do is I like to close my eyes and I just drag the hair like this and then with the same combination of color I did the same thing with the inner third. After that, I took my Real Technique um, accent brush, a teeny tiny brush, and I went in with this green turquoise color right here. And I packed it on the brush, and lightly, I just filled in the middle of the lid that was left blank. After that, I went in with this white color right here with the same Real Techniques brush and I packed that in there, I tapped off the excess and I just packed right on top of that green. You're going to go back in with the Morphe M506 again, swirl it in the, in the two purples at the bottom and then you're going to just want to blend, blend, blend and blend here a little bit and blend there so that you have no harsh lines now that you have that <clears throat> you want to take a clean blending brush and let me see where mine is at okay right here and for this i'm using a morphe m505 with no product on this brush so make sure it's clean guys you just want to brush it first in the brown uh, brown first in the purple and then work it up to the pink and then to the orange. Now, because I feel that the orange is too like, I wanted a brighter orange. So now I'm gonna be going with my Morphe M209, which is like a flat brush. And I'm going, going to be using this yellow right here. And lightly, I'm just going to want to wipe that on the edge, so on the tip of the brush, nothing on the sides, mostly on the tip. Tap off the excess. And just layer that on. This step, I'm doing it on both eyes. Because it's just, I just noticed that I would have a preference for a brighter orange with this eye. Now I'm going to be going in with my Carity eyeshadows. Today I'm going to be using Patina, which is the first one right here. And I will be using that. I'm sorry, I need to get this brush. And I will be using that for the inner corner. 
so there you have it guys i hope you liked it so, again guys thank you so so much for sticking around and watching this video i hope you guys like it if you do recreate the look please tag me i would love 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 to see how you guys recreate this look if you guys put your own twist to it if you guys just do the same thing um so yeah you would tag me at all things you underscore to on instagram um you can send me the pictures i don't know you can do whatever you want just let me see it let me enjoy with you and yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe that would mean so so much to me and until next time also i have promised before i forget i have promised that i will be doing a giveaway i want to reach my first mini benchmark of 50 subscribers and when i do um this giveaway will be happening it will be announced i will make a video this week so by the by wednesday another video maybe this one and another one will be uploaded together or um when i reach my 50 subscribers it will be the beginning of the giveaway the more subscribers after 50 that i get the more prices or the more places i would have for the giveaway so that's the whole thing that i want you guys to comment on whether i should do more places and like less products for each place or if i should do just like one big gigantic winner so please guys let me know in the comments bar down below down here down here so thank you and as i said please like if you like this look please comment down below anything else you would like to see me do any other theme just throw it at me i do think i have a collab coming soon with another youtuber that's beginning just like me so stay tuned for that i'm pretty excited about that and so yeah guys See you guys in another look in another tutorial. Bye.